time to start loading up. We're heading out. Koa is helping put stuff in the truck bed. And we're gonna get everything sorted in the cab that needs to stay dry. And then it's off to Fort Lauderdale Executive. Uh, the flight today, I think, is about an hour. An hour, so it's a little bit further than the flight to Bimini. So we're gonna buckle up, enjoy the ride, and We've got a full weekend of tiger sharks ahead. Let's get it. All right, so off we go. I got Chris with me. Whoa. Proper introduction this time. In Mag Bay, I never got the chance for that. So hey, we got it this time. We're off to Tiger Beach. I haven't been to Tiger Beach in four years. And uh, last time I was there, I actually didn't get a tiger shark. First two times I did go, uh, we did have tigers. We had four tigers at a time the first time and then one tiger on the second trip. So either way, I've done pretty good with tiger sharks there. I'm excited to get back. What's cool about the Bahamas, it differs from here in Florida with the tiger sharks, is that you've got crystal clear, shallow water. You've got reef backdrops. A lot of the photos that come from Florida are either a sand backdrop or a blue water backdrop. So it's nice for us Florida shark people to be able to mix it up and get a different backdrop with these animals too. So on top of tiger sharks, we could see lemon sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, nurse sharks, which I'd rather not see, and of course, the great hammerheads that sometimes pass through this ocean pinnacle uh, on their way north, we believe, during their migration. So here we go. We got the drive down to Fort Lauderdale Executive, check out a little bit of what we're seeing, and we'll check in when we get to the rest of the group. See you soon. All right, we are back at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport and we are headed to West End, Grand Bahama. We are headed to Tiger Beach, 22 miles offshore, northwest of the island. We're looking for big, pregnant, female, gestating tiger sharks that we can swim with, film, and photograph. So we're gonna load up these planes. We've got a 45, 50 minute flight up northeast to Freeport and we're gonna go see some really big fish. Let's go for a swim. Let's go. Let's get it. First time you've left for a trip like this with me, right? Yeah. What up, yo? What up? Let's get it. Oh, hi again. Back. Just in case we gotta call the Coast Guard. So welcome back to my shark life. We just got here <coughs> to Grand Bahama and uh, the first Airbnb that I booked for my group, it's all flooded on the way there. So we just had to walk down this entire stretch of beach, carrying everybody's bags, dive gear, camera gear, talk about a fun way to kick off the expedition. So here we go, off to the next Airbnb. Then I can go to my Airbnb and relax before we go meet up for dinner. So we're settling in here on West End in Grand Bahama. Quite the view. It is absolutely beautiful here. So we're hanging out, we're having a great time. 
We're gonna get some food right now, and then I believe we might actually get out there for a sunset swim. So let's see what we can get into. Maybe we can find some cool stuff to get this trip started early. Here we go. Day one here on Grand Bahama. We are watching a beautiful sunset here behind us. Uh, it was a whopping 40 minute flight over with a tailwind, so that was a pretty pleasant surprise. Unfortunately, some of the island is flooded, so I didn't get to do the night snorkel. We did some room rearranging and whatnot to get everybody settled, but we'll get a trip report here from Josh, Casey, and Aaron, and then we're gonna settle in for the night. Uh, we got tiger sharks tomorrow, tiger time. It's been four years since I've been here to do Tiger Time. We get them in Jupiter, but it's just not the same. So I'm really, really fired up to see what we can get. There's a famous tiger shark here who's approximately 15 feet long. She goes by the name of Emma. So I'd like to meet her. I've been here several times, but I haven't had the pleasure of meeting such a large animal. I've swam with whale sharks. I've swam with whales. But for predatory sharks, that would actually be the largest predatory shark that I get to swim with. So here we go. Time to watch that sun drop. And uh, as soon as it comes up again, we're going to be doing this. And we're going to be looking for some large animals with stripes and razor sharp teeth. Let's see what we can find. Right, day two on Grand Bahama. We are leaving right now. We're gonna go get some breakfast and then we are going out to Tiger Beach. We're leaving out of West End. Super, super excited to get there. That's enough of that though. We got a beautiful view. We're gonna enjoy the ride, enjoy some food, and then it's time for Tiger Sharks. Let's go do it. Refrigerator here. There is a little like Band-Aid kit upstairs and there's a tourniquet right on those Filling station there. The tourniquet stays right there, okay guys? At the back of the boat, the coily hose right here by Ryan is going to be salt water. This hose right at the back of Ryan is going to be fresh water and you control it right on the bottom. H for hot, C for cold. So you're going to have hot water right at the back of the boat to make you guys comfortable. Uh, please be careful around the cutting board. We're going to keep a knife on that cutting board so we don't lose it, okay guys? Like I said earlier, let's try to stay clean potential for six different species of sharks here. You're going to forget about all the other ones. So when we give you a number, we're telling you how many tiger sharks we have with us right now. It's most important that you know where those tiger sharks are. So if we say seven, you better oh, find seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to see the crew all day today doing this, doing this. We're pointing them out so you know where they are. Okay, you're going to see some type of maybe a little hunting behavior. So, rule number one. Rule number two and rule number three, pretty self-explanatory. It's not a petting zoo, okay? We're not, we're in, we're, these sharks are allowing us to interact with them. Rule number two, do not touch them. Rule number three, don't let them touch you. Okay, we'll talk further more about why. Beautiful, beautiful blue water. 
Oh, that Bahama Blue. We're gonna get our gear together. We're gonna take these headphones off. I'm listening to Common Kinks right now. And then uh, that's gonna set the vibe. And I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna wade in that water. So here we go. Let's get ready. We'll see y'all soon. Woohoo! Here we go. Yes, what a dive! <laughs> Hell yeah! So we had three tiger sharks total, two of them sticking around and playing. One of them was actually a new tiger shark here at Tiger Beach, so I'm sure the group can throw out some names. The other one they call Zombie. It was a really, really fun tiger shark. Quite the size to this animal. What did you think about your first day at Tiger Beach? Absolutely amazing. Crystal clear blue water. Tiger sharks like this, no people in the background. I'm a very happy photographer over here. We got reef sharks still, we got lemon sharks. Actually, there's a tiger shark right there. There. There's a tiger shark right there on the bottom, that big black shadow. That's a tiger shark right there. So, oh my God, what a day at the beach. As you can see, there's not a lot of sand here at Tiger Beach. It is, it's down there. There's just not a real beach. So, beautiful, beautiful day. Shitload of sharks. We're not done though. Day two tomorrow. Let's get this shit going.
What a day out here off of Grand Bahama. As we addressed earlier on the boat, there's no beach at Tiger Beach. But what there are are big, beautiful tiger sharks. Most of them there are sexually mature. They're gestating. So we got to see three today, but only two wanted to play. What they would do is they would come in and kind of take turns on the crate and then go wide and do these circles. And then they would kind of do a figure eight back around the group. And then they did that the entire time. But right now, it's time to unwind. It's time to relax. Time to watch the sun drop again. Tomorrow, we got another day of this. So let's go. Let's get to bed after we watch the sun drop. Let's wake up early. Let's get some breakfast. And let's go feed some more big ass tiger sharks. Here we go.